How do you build a robot? As told by our friend, the Roomba Robot Vacuum, by PJ Micheli, illustrated by Samuel Valentino, narrated by Rebecca Atia. A clean house is a happy house, and that makes me one happy Roomba. You may be asking, how did you become a Roomba Robot Vacuum? Well, let me tell you. People who make robots are called engineers. Engineers studied math and science in school to learn everything it takes to bring a robot like me to life. Before they became engineers, they were kids just like you. Have you ever taken your toys apart to see how they work? Or examined a bicycle to understand how the gears move? Many of my engineer friends did the same things when they were kids. Every robot begins first as an idea. Engineers come up with ideas to solve a problem. So you ask, what problem does a Roomba solve? Sometimes people are too busy working, taking care of their families, or having fun, and they don't have time to clean the house. That's where I come in. My friends, the engineers, went to work thinking about how to save your family time. So they thought, what if we create a robot that vacuums the house all by itself? Does this sound like a robot you might know? When I was younger, I did not look exactly the same as I do today. My engineer friends spent a lot of time making sure that I looked and worked great. Sometimes a robot looks very different when an engineer first starts to build it. Have you ever built a tower with blocks and had to start over or make changes as you build? That's what happens with robots too. Engineers create many different versions before deciding what works best. The engineers that created me spent many years deciding how to make me look like I do today. Many different types of engineers worked together to help create me. My friends, the mechanical engineers, made sure that all of my many parts were in the right places. Then, my friends, the electrical engineers, gave me all of the energy and sensors I needed to move around your house. Software and systems engineers made sure all of my parts could understand each other and work as a team. They were the ones that gave me a brain. Last but not least, my industrial design friends made me look like how you see me now. They make sure people know what my buttons, sounds, and lights mean. Before I could end up in your home, I had many tests to pass in robot school. Yes, that's right, I had to go to school just like you do. The test engineers wanted to see how much dirt I could pick up to make sure your home is always clean. Then I had to see how long I could clean before I needed to recharge. Sometimes when you're building robots, you need to test and make changes along the way. My engineers made sure that when I do long cleaning jobs, I have enough power. My friends, like your teachers, made sure I learned everything I needed to know to be the best robot. After I finished school and passed all my tests, I had help from other friends to make sure I could end up in your home. Salespeople, marketers, finance people, designers, and lawyers all played important roles in my life. I had so many friends on my journey that I'm not sure I'd be able to name them all. I hope you learned a lot about robots and the many different people that make them. What kind of engineer would you be? Do you want to give the robots their power and ability to do things like see and hear? Then you'd be a great electrical engineer. Maybe you want to figure out how all my parts communicate and be the one to give robots a brain. That would make you a software or systems engineer. What if you want to put the parts together and see how they all fit? Mechanical engineering would be the perfect fit for you. Or you might want to design or draw how a robot looks. 
If so, you'd be a great industrial designer. Uh-oh, I just received a message that it's time to clean. If you're at the park and you need me to clean before you get home, just use your phone and send me a message. All you need to do is press clean. Okay, now it's really time for me to get back to work. Like I said, a clean house is a happy house and I am a very happy Roomba. The end. See you soon.